we're starting now. Yes. Hello, uh, how are you? <laughs> it's going to be a funny one. So let's get okay. in. Let's get into different questions that you had before. Okay. And we can remove the doubts if it's possible. If it's possible, yeah. It would be nice if it's possible. Okay. Uh, I'm not hearing you uh, very well. Can you raise your voice a little? Or no. something, there is background noise like this a little. Can you hear now? Oh, now it's better, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've been uh, trying to see as many videos of you uh, as much as I could before I talk. Uh, I didn't get too much, too many, as much as I wanted. Uh, I'm a little injured. I had some kind of incident a couple of days ago. Uh, I don't really know where to start. I, what I can say is uh, there is, a, in one set, in one sense, some kind of clarity that has been in the uh, couple of uh, last months, uh, and with it there is a confusion. So uh, there is clarity side by side with confusion. So I want more clarity and less of the confusion, if it's possible. Uh, but I don't know how to start even. What, what is it that confuses your mind? Uh, the change, the changing of the things. So in one sense, uh, uh, I, paid, uh, I paid attention a lot. So this is, was a, a very big focus for me. So what I could see, there is a space, there is the body is moving in the space, everything is happening in the space, all the time. Okay, there is a recognition of some kind of space with this table, and the body is moving in it, the rest of the body is moving in it, everything is happening in it. And yet, uh, there is a, a still identification with the body, you can say, or try to understand what is going on here. Still is not clear. Okay. The identification with the body and the mind is what has to be undone. And you either discriminate the thoughts about the body or the reactivity to the bodily sensation. Okay. And, and if you can say right? What? Decrease. Decrease. What decrease? Decrease, take down. Okay, I don't understand this word. Decrease. You said decrease to take down the uh, activity, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Undo the identification with the body and the mind. Okay. To undo it is to cut the identification. And uh, if there is a, a recognition of awareness, or pure consciousness, or silence, or stillness. It's different words that point to the experience of who you are. If you can fix the attention on that continuously, or as much as possible, that's that will be enough. Okay, that, that's what I'm doing. And it is very easy when I'm like this here, alone. And it is very clear, but once, uh, there is starting uh, to have interaction with other bodies or because uh, right now I'm in a very secluded place, not many people here. But once you go out to town, to in the mall, it's starting to get more difficult. You have to fix the attention more and more and let the mind rest and be established in the changeless awareness. And then as the attention goes out, maintain or fix some attention within this changeless awareness 
so it can be done as we talk as you listen if you truly recognize this mm, I would say empty space which is completely full then it can be in daily activities it won't happen in daily activities when you when the attention goes out if the mind is not resting and established in this changeless awareness which is you it's not going to happen just like that um, so what is needed more actually because we talked about uh, i talked to you about uh, doing the meditation standing meditation i try to do it twice a day now as much as i can again yeah, the standing meditation don't it's two different things because if you are in, in standing meditation or in the body is standing still then the mind can wander a lot there might be that the awareness does not shine through so you are actually witnessing the thoughts and you discriminate or you shift the attention to the body sensation and this is a way to cultivate the ability to witness the thoughts yet awareness can shine through unexpectedly nothing to do with the standing meditation the standing meditation enables you to be able to be still and not um, Um, the word is not um, follow the reactivity or do not cooperating with the reactivity of the mind yeah that, that's the main reason I'm doing it but what do you mean that it can shine through without connection right the self can shine through not because of practice practice cannot make the self the changeless awareness reveal itself the practice just um, undo the identification with the body and the mind and it purifies the mind when the mind turns to be more subtle and pure the self by itself shines through to itself I would read you a quote from Anamalai Swami and it says when the rejection of mental activities becomes continuous and automatic you will begin to have the experience of the self again when the rejection of mental activities becomes continuous means when you don't get attached when a thought appears you don't get attached to it and follow it and get lost in a dream means you as it appears you either question it you discriminate it or when it appears you question it and when the question uh, complete itself what remains is this pure continuous awareness and you fix the attention on that okay for me can i uh, one second interrupt because this is important to me because I feel for me this is the main uh, the main uh, interruption because thoughts like this, all thoughts like I should have done this, I, all this they drop automatic already because it is seen that they are nonsense, they are not real but uh, what uh, takes, what I feel takes me away from this uh, uh, space you can say is words, just words words that are symbols actually that represents stuff they they are the one that still a uh, cause reactivity here or whatever wherever you want to call it they in the body mind they still cause reactivity which words certain words it changes all the time some of it i talk to you if you remember in israel i don't want to open it uh, here but uh, there is still uh, uh, the objection like I said, they are doing the standing meditation to uh, uh, change the reactivity for the bodily sensation this is almost done 
but there is still reactivity to certain uh, words that appear in space, in emptiness, that represent some certain things. And for this, I haven't found a cure yet, because they affect the body uh, very fast. They, they affect the mechanism very fast. Okay. And they clutter the consciousness. It's basically can be if you're with a partner or you with somebody that you give meaning to what they say. When no, no, no. It's that's in, word, let's which say, uh, that's why it's a bit complicated. Uh, Your own words? Whose words? No, 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 no. no. Words that are, are uh, for this uh, being, they represent something scary, like say a disease for some, for, for, for example. Disease, okay. So when the okay, mind, okay, let's stay with disease. When, if I understand correctly, if suddenly you have thoughts about the body being sick or somebody okay. close around you, then you start reacting. You believe it to be true. You imagine that it's possible to happen or it's happening and then you get into... Um, there is reactivity generate bodily sensation. Yeah, the reactivity is very fast and very automatic. That's the problem. At least in this mechanism, okay. or whatever you want to call it. Then what, what can be done is, first of all, instead of avoiding it, when these thoughts appear within you, then notice the bodily sensation and observe the sensation as it is and question the thoughts so don't move from it therefore what's going to happen the thoughts appear about whatever let's say I would just give example I have cancer and now in instantaneously I identify I am a physical body so there is a, a bodily sensation due to this idea I have cancer now Sunday my whole body is contracted and I feel nausea and then observe the sensation without moving, being completely still. Observe it, it's just a wave. And then when this wave passes through or quiets down a little bit, question the thought. I have cancer. Who is that I that claims to have cancer? Is the I a physical form or is it just a thought? Is the eye can have a cancer or is just an idea? Can idea have a cancer? And is this eye who I truly am? And when this eye is no longer present, who am I? Am I a thought or am I changeless awareness? This is just an example how you examine this illusion of I have cancer. Yes still the body can have cancer yet if I don't identify with the thoughts about the body then you're free and who you are can never have disease really the only disease is identifying with the thoughts to be real the only disease is the illusion of an ego. The ego is the disease. Okay, what is an ego? There, is, uh, there are many interpretations. What is ego? Every, because it's a very popular word today. Ego. It's the I thought that identifies, means thinks and believes that is a physical form. That's all. Okay, but the physical form exists. Okay, we're not arguing about this one, right? Apparently. Okay. And, and? And it interacts with other forms. Except when the form interacts with other forms without any thoughts about it, it's free. Okay. Without any thoughts about what? About the interaction or about with, what? About the interactions. Okay. And when you start being established, or the mind being established in the self, then even the sense of body is gone. 
their experience inside the body, although there's no inside and outside, is silence, absolutely still. I'll read a little bit more. Bhagwan's famous instruction is be still. Is often misunderstood. It does not mean that you should be physically still. It means that you should always abide in the self. Okay. Abiding in the self is very ordinary, is just recognizing the sense of I amness or the sense of awareness or the sense of stillness within, which is eternal peace and fix the attention on that. Okay, is it somewhere in the body? Because I've noticed there is a more to the center, down center. The way to fix the attention. Mm, it's absence of thoughts and there is a sense of peace uh, without any movement of the mind and when the movement appears and there is a sense of awareness then it has no real presence the thoughts awareness has the only presence and if you fix the attention or you don't let the thought evolve then all there is is awareness and that's a dance that happens until the mind rests or relaxes into the awareness which is you okay. he continues and says meditation must be continuous the current of meditation must be present in all your activities we practice meditation and work and go simultaneously. So, and he continues, when I say meditate on the self, I'm asking you to be the self, not to think about it. Be aware of what remains when thoughts stop. Be aware of that, the consciousness that is the origin of all your thoughts. Be that consciousness. You understand? This is clear enough, pointing exactly where to fix the attention without all the ideas of what it means. That's if you already have the experience of this consciousness. Okay. I feel this is like a, something like a fine tune. The way to do it is always fine tune yourself, like uh, on a bicycle. In one. You know what? It, it is. You understand my analogy? It is. You need to find this place. It is. And always when you... It is fine-tuning. Because there would be all kind of play. The illusion. It covers it. Because you can experience the self, which is pure, and, not, and be completely still even, physically, and no mental movement. And then suddenly a thought appear, and then it appears like you lost the experience of this pure consciousness. Yet when you question the thought and it disappears, this pure consciousness hasn't really changed or moved because it is immovable. Yet the appearance of the thought grabbed the hold of the attention and it appeared like you lost this consciousness, which can actually never be lost. All that happened, the attention shifted to thoughts. Yeah, you just go outside, there is energetic movement. Instead of open, it goes fixed on something. Yes. That's my experience, at least. That's right. It narrows it down to yes. a name and a form, which is a thought. So would you say a good practice is to always try to open your consciousness instead of uh, focus on some as, of course, you have to, from time to time, to f fix your uh, attention on uh, one object. If you write something or you need to learn something. But other than that, to be more like uh, expand would be a good uh, 
Yes. Preparation of, as far as you're concerned? Yes. Fix the attention on that which is you, pure, aware, silently aware, and then when the mind fix the attention on any particular object, then if the mind is free if it doesn't wander to the past and to the future. And then when the task is over, shift the attention back to that which is aware. I'll read another self-inquiry must be done continuously it doesn't work if you regard it as a part-time activity and that's at least what apparently appears as a process happens gradually the more you fix the attention on this self, which is you, the, grow, the more it reveals. So it appears like it grows, yet the less thoughts, therefore there is more of that awareness. More continuation, apparent in time, right? More, I understand it correctly. More what? Apparent more continuation. The stream is more, the current is more stable than... Yeah. Uh, there is more continuity of the self than continuity of uh, the dream, which is not continuous because it begins and ends. Yes. And he, he, another quote, if you can hold on to this knowledge, I am the self at all times, no further practice is necessary. Again, hold on to this knowledge I am the self is not thinking I am the self, is experiencing being the self. attached to a certain stage state you fix the attention on it okay you fix the attention on yourself the real self the self is not a state of mind it illuminates the mind yet I don't see a problem if you fix the attention and you experience experience eternal peace what is there a problem the problem begins when you ident when a thought appears and you identify with it and believe it to Re be real react to it okay. reactivity is always to unwanted thoughts or unwanted oh. sensation yes so how can you down down the reactivity do more meditation what, what is your advice personally to me? I don't advise to down the reactivity. If you can cultivate the witness attitude, witnessing the thoughts without reacting to the reactivity itself, the reactivity which is the identification, the false identification, comes into the surface to clear itself. Yet the habit is I don't want the reactivity, so I want to get rid of it. So anytime reactivity appears into the surface, the mind reacts to it, resists it, doesn't want it. And that's how it feeds the reactivity itself and sustains it. So not to react to the reactivity. Yes. Observe the reactivity as it is. Witness is it. There is there a set than that? That's the problem. What to do? Work. <laughs> uh, uh, 
this is basically what happens when we do retreats the people are coming out of the retreat with the ability to observe the reactivity more than before because they were able to be with their reactivity without moving so much without distracting themselves without avoiding and then the mind stops being so scared of the reactivity which is just either unpleasant generates unpleasant sensation or unwanted thoughts if you can be still with that that would be enough and then when it passes away you fix the attention on that which never moves is omnipresent is always here and it takes no practice or time to experience who you are no but it takes time to be as I feel it takes time to be established in it to experience it is not but uh, to break the habit takes time yeah, the habit that we are talking about yeah, the habit just coming to the surface to burn themselves if you can not react to it so non-reaction and shifting the attention are very key all along for the mind to rest in the self So this is a um, this is what it takes. Here he, there's another quote he points in every moment you only have one real choice to be aware of the self or to identify with the body and the mind. It's one or zero. It's not in between. Your ultimate need is to get established in the changeless peace of the self. For this you have to give up all thoughts. Here he pointing, if you don't give up the thought, when that thought that you're interested appears, you would not question it nor discern it. You would get attached to it and get lost in a dream. Okay. The mind wants to believe that meditation is done with the mind. That meditation is the construction of some sort of thoughts or image when in fact meditation is awareness if you're being quiet right now can you sense the awareness? yes, I always sense it yes. I, I, this is fixed. not this always is... why don't you stay right now? can you recognize a silence that is within, that is not a thought? Yes. Can, yes, I can. Can you fix the attention on that? I am, during our conversation. Okay. We still... Uh... Can you describe, what do you sense? Can I describe? What do you sense?
expansion. Okay, in what this sense? What? Expansion. Do you sense a sense of peace? Yeah, there is peace, but also, uh, I don't know how to call it. More, more than just peace. There is more than just peace. Not peace, it's peace with... Uh, Boundless awareness. Peace with some kind of joy, I can say that. There is some kind of happiness, or you can call it like this. Great. If there is the recognition of that, then fix the attention on that as much as possible today, during the day for stops, for short periods of time and notice how the mind means thoughts appear and they grab the attention and get you out of it and get you to move from it and then you fix it back and you stretch it a little bit longer and let the mind start being established in that awareness which is you actually and then doubts question them and when thoughts continuously discriminate the thoughts to be I'm not this thought, I'm not the one who's thinking, the thoughts are not real, by recognizing no. it, not by just saying it like a parrot. No, the thoughts are appearing in this, actually. The thoughts are appearing in this, in me, or, or whatever. Yeah. It's, uh... Except that start to fix the attention on this awareness and experience thoughtless state of being because very quickly what the mind says there's the recognition of this awareness which is you and then thoughts appear and then the mind get lost in a dream and says yeah Thoughts appearing within awareness, yet most of the time the identification is with the body and the mind in that time. That's not good enough. That's not enough alertness and vigilance. Okay, I, I didn't hear what you said now because there was a disturbance in the mic. Can you say it again? I'm not sure I can say it again. It's recorded, so you might be able to see it. It's okay. Start to fix the attention on awareness and experience that there is a gap of the stream of the mind. The stream of okay. the thoughts stop. And when it begins questioning, and the questioning it cuts this stream of thought. Question and, the thought that arise? Yes. Any more doubts? Uh, any more doubts? There is a doubt in myself that I can do it, but uh, I will have to do it. Yeah, yeah, don't leave this idea if you can do it. Just do it, yeah? yeah. Do it, and then if you have any doubts or anything, then we can talk again. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.